the proof's in the pudding. We've had uh, improvement of over 100% in our results in the last couple of years. You know, a great deal's related to being able to utilise the information out of CISPRO to give us better decision-making capability in the business. My name's Leon Nash and I am the Chief Financial Officer here at AF Gason in Ararat in Victoria. Started in 1946, we were Frank Gason, whose children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren are now involved in the business. Through that time, we also diversified having a background in agriculture through the cabins for tractors into uh, broadacre farming equipment. In sort of the late 80s, early 90s, we diversified into wood heating, so we also um, are the outsourced manufacturer for about 30 businesses in terms of their metal fabricated items. CISPRO was implemented here in 2011. We use CISPRO in the entire length of the supply chain. It records everything in from our manufacturing side of the business, shop floor recording, shop floor data, job management, inventory management, covers all of our sales process and invoicing receivables and then all the finance functions that hang off all of that. Payables, receivables, um, cash management. So we have one source of the truth. Jason Yole, I'm currently in the role of production manager. We use CISPRO on a daily basis from a production perspective. Uh, we couldn't live without CISPRO. Literally to get an air seeder through our factory, we're talking 1800 operations on a basic air seeder. But without CISPRO, we wouldn't be able to see those thousands of parts that we actually have. The ability to see uh, what jobs are being completed, what jobs need to be completed still, CISPRO gives you that full visibility to all that from an inventory control point of view. So in terms of inventory management, I think the systems helped us in understanding where our cost really sits and how much of particular items that we need to hold. We're able to utilise inventory turns and inventory days as calculations within the system to work out what our ideal carrying value is and a lower carrying value than we would otherwise have. So in the last 12 months, we've implemented CISPRO MOM, um, which has been terrific. You know, the return on investment in that is just amazing because we can actually see down to the job level, that particular operation, do we have a problem? Do we need to make some changes? Do we need to invest in that? Um, it's just opened our eyes to what we can actually do as a business. The payback for me is really around CISPRO MOM and using shop floor recording and job recording appropriately within our business. You know, our job recording has meant that our accuracy levels improved over 20%. We're probably close to 50% improved efficiency on the shop floor from utilisation of the information to help us work on problem areas within the business and problem areas within each work centre. We often have uh, engineering designs uh, by different engineers that are not necessarily the same. And then we'll come up with a view that we need to change that and make it such that we can manufacture one item to do what perhaps three or four used to be able to do. Utilising that information is really useful within the business because we have a backlog of work and it's been able to cut that backlog of work um, probably by 30%. I think in terms of uh, payback for us, in terms of our investment within CISPRO on an annual basis, um, it's, it's a really simple decision for me as the CFO to say it's, it's, it's a very cheap system. It's the benefit by far and away outweighs the cost of the annual maintenance agreement.